Good morning, dear friends. Let's have a, a cup of tea. Oh, sorry. Put it aside. We will choose the little spoons. We have always used the red spoon. So let's see if I have a white one here. I like ceramic. I like them all. We will use a teeny tiny small red one, the white one. How about it? Might be too small for this job, but we will see. So, a green tea, and the other day we were. Oh, that's not. That's too small. I have to change to a larger one. Grapefruit stock spoon. That should be okay. Bye bye. Next time when we do rooibos tea, we can use the other little spoon. And this time we will use this spoon. This is the end of the tea. It's better to change a new tea. The good thing is that, ooh, 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 okay. the good thing is that I will be able to get new teas very 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 soon. So new good teas very 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 soon. We try not to break it. Right? Let me put into our little tea. Dry it. Okay. Look at it, how pretty it is. So this should be enough. Gosh, I didn't get one single tea leaf out. This one, too small, we will not use it. These two pieces. Sorry. Let me wear my glasses. Okay, now I can see. One more. Two more. Okay. Pour in water. Do I need to put something under it? Seems so. I think I have pretty napkin for it. Let me see. Three kinds, but they are all IKEA, inexpensive stuff. Put. Remember, I always complain about this teapot and saying it uh, has a design defect. And today I'm seeing it, I feel this is a uh, a very sought, very well sought design effect, a uh, defect. Because uh, the other day I was talking, uh, just the last time, the last tea video, I was talking about uh, about tea, green tea. Why I drink relatively less green tea than the other green tea, and then the other kind of tea because. Uh, the acidity in the tea makes me not comfortable, and uh, <clears throat> and one friend suggests that I should uh, not put the tea in the 
in the in the teapot for a long time that way it's uh, it's uh, releasing too much acidity of the tea so this is why we feel that heartburn in chinese is called shao xin shao is burn xin is heart shao xin so heartburn it's really a very international feeling now i i can i can international or global everybody has this so this way you can see now let's take a look at the tea and this tea i cannot feel up to to the maximum don't come out because there is a design defect i always say it's a design defect and uh, now I am seeing it. Maybe it's intentionally made like that. You can see the teapot cannot feel more than this level. If I feel more tea, the tea water will come out. It's already almost a little drop of it. The water will come out and uh, it just contained this much of tea i was saying this is a design defect because um, the the mouth should be taller than this it's absolutely beautiful just to tilt it up a little bit it will improve so much so still it's a design defect but we can take advantage of this design defect i'm sorry don't watch my video upload but we can take advantage of it so that you can brew the tea and then pull out the tea and then the tea leaf is suspended and the tea leaf is lifted up from the tea. This way it avoids to have one simple problem that is over brewing the tea, right? over steeping the tea you do not want to have your tea like um, overnight stay overnight uh, especially in this temperature this is in hot temperature if you use cold water almost fresh cold water it takes longer time you can drink tea overnight but um, I think there is a new method of brewing coffee with cold water and then put into refrigerator overnight. The second day you get it. And, um, and the tea, I think you can do that way also after, after uh, using colder water. It just takes a longer time, but slowly uh, the tea, uh, the 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 chemical in the tea or the natural ingredients in the tea or the flavoring of the tea will slowly merge, dispense into the water until it reach that uh, balance. The density of tea in the water and the density of tea in the leaf, when it is reaching into uh, the same level, that's the time that tea stops work. If for hot water it takes a shorter time and for cold water it takes longer time okay now we can pour the tea, uh -oh, the tea. i think you, you deserve to watch the pouring don't come out don't come out This tripod is too complicated. I bought a new tripod and you have seen on my Facebook page about this tripod. It's just too deluxe. I do not need to complicate things I would like. So you can see the color is so light. And Oh, still there are some water. 
tea are still merged into the water. So let me finish it. It's too hot for now. Mm. The tea is fresh and um, and this way I think you can drink the tea, you can enjoy the tea uh, better. So take advantage of the disadvantage. Take advantage and, um, and use the design in fact to its full advantage. So you can see this, this is actually good. Yeah. For one person it is a little bit um, for one person's use, because if you use tea just a little bit, sorry, so you can see the tea is still in the water, right? Still tea in the water. For one person, it's a little bit uh, too, um, the teapot is a little bit big, but if you, if you have a bigger mug, actually, you have a bigger cup, not so delicate. This um, small teacup, you have two or three friends share, and then the tea will become suspended. Just perfect. Don't you agree? Some friends prefer tea with, water, uh, with uh, sugar, with honey, with lemon, with milk. Whichever way you prefer, I prefer tea, pure tea. And the other day, one friend suggested lemon balm. Balm. I think I have tried it. And unfortunately, it is not my thing. And uh, the, I think the, the, the other thing I drink tea is tisan. Tisan, red tisan. I do not uh, usually like to drink those herbs, and uh, it's just not in my in my blood to drink those herbs. I do not know why, and um, even in cooking, I do not like to use a lot of herbs. Usually, usually, salt and pepper and uh, a little bit of secret agent, and uh, yeah. A lot of friends asking about the secret agent. I think I still do not have a solution for it. It is uh, dishonest. It it will betray the previous friends who asked and I never answered, and now suddenly I answer it. It's kind of betraying the old friends. So I will not uh, I will not release the secret ingredients. But as you have already seen, with or without secret ingredients, the food you cannot eat, only I can eat. The flavor, whatever flavor you put, is your thing. Do not follow other people's stomach. You like salty things, you put one spoon more salt than others. You like, like plain things, you put one less. You like chili pepper, you put your own things. And uh, the process is there. The rest is on your own hand. And uh, I do not know. I was quite, um, quite, uh, disappointed, quite surprised. I do not know the word that... Uh, People ask about the ingredients, and uh, there are ingredients. Ingredients, I think, for ingredients is not important in cooking in our life. It's not important. The important thing is how you treat yourself, how you make the best of what you have, and how to do things according to what you like.
I think I can kind of understand some people searching for for cooking video and uh, and see each different steps. If you have already done cooking, you do not see those steps. You see the ingredients and you can you can you can already manipulate and make it. If you have not you do not know about cooking, about doing something, step by step explain will not save you. It can help you a little bit, but do not rely on it. It's all in practice. It sounds kind of mean. It sounds kind of uh, of uh, unkind, but that is what I think. You can learn, we can learn from others, but the more important thing we learn is not the detail, is the whole picture, is the whole process. When doing painting, I would search on, on YouTube, I search other people's instruction. I will never do the same. And uh, It's all in your, in our own practice. We have different hand, we have different touch, we have different character. What we are learning is the big picture is the principle of doing things. Gosh, two cups still merged into. Put it aside. One friend asked me about uh, this magic paper, what it is. So let me put the tea aside and we can take a look at the magic paper and the brush. All these things. Bye bye. See you later, alligator. Da, 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 da. It's quite a uh, a disaster too. I think my husband is quite unlucky too. Ah, no, I don't know. Let's not talk about it. I am not neat. of one person but on the other hand you could enjoy not being picked picked upon for not being uh, nice not being um, tidy yeah it's all advantage or disadvantage if you have uh, if you marry to a person if your wife is uh, clean, enjoy the cleanness, but you may suffer for being criticized for being not clean. If you marry to a messy wife, you are pretty sure never be criticized by being messy and you can be. <laughs> mm. Be generous. So, one friend asked about my name. Oh, oh, this is not good. My name in traditional way of writing. Gosh. TV wants. Yeah. I 
am intimidated. She, 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 she. My name in Chinese. Oh, this is a good paper. It never disappears. If you, if I write on this paper, it will disappear when I finished. Yeah. But this one looks so oily and looks so pretty. Yeah. Oh, that's such a big ball. It's not pretty. Yang. And uh, Yang. This is my family name. It means poplar tree. I don't know uh, exactly the root of my name. The, the, the family name, how it comes from. But uh, it is a tree. Hi. So three drop of water here is ocean. Hi. This paper is really very important, uh, enjoyable. Hi is the first word in my family name, and in is. The second, no, 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 the first word in my given name, in my name, and in is the second word in my given name. So my given name is Hai, in, and in means eagle, eagle. So Hai in means sea hawk. Hai Ying, Yang Hai Ying, Yang is family name, Hai, and uh, Ying. So people ask how to pronounce my name. There are different ways of pronouncing my, uh, 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 calling me. If you call me Mrs. or Miss, Mrs., I am Mrs. Yang. I didn't change my family name with marriage. So this is my father's name. I still kept it because Yang Haiying is prettier than Yang than Haiying right? So Miss Yang. So is Yang. This is my family name. Oh, the Ying I wrote in simplified. I'm sorry, Yang. And if you feel that you are close to me and you feel comfortable calling my uh, given name instead of Mrs. Yang, you can just call me Haiying. Haiying is seahawk. Haiying means um, seahawk, and Haiying is my given name. And uh, I was called the same name, Hai Ying. Everybody called me Hai Ying. I have never had an English name, so that it's easy for the people who speak English to pronounce my name. But I'm sorry, I think Hai Ying is... Um, I'm just more comfortable call myself Hai Ying to hear people say me Hai Ying than any other oh this is simplified this i will write a traditional way hai simplified traditional is the same so hai ying you can call me hai ying a lot of people call me hai ying and my boss call me hai ying my colleague call me hai ying and even my student call me hai ying i think it's um, 
and one day I was that that's I think that's um, 15 years ago around 15 years ago we traveled to Egypt and uh, we met one friend from um, from uh, Brazil who walked who has a had a company or work for a company in the UK in London and uh, And uh, he was really Ill. so. One day when I lived in London, I lived in London for two weeks or one month before I took MBA class and to prepare my MBA class. But finally, I didn't do that anyway. So I lived in Swiss cottage, and uh, I visited him again and met him. And he told me that he was very happy to live in London. He uh, guided me to a local fashion shop, fish and chip shop, and he said it's one of the best fish and chip. And uh, he told me he enjoyed life in the UK, and people are very friendly, and people are easygoing. They call people's name by their their given name by their name, and uh, not family name. Prénom, so that's how I know that maybe it's a European thing. Anyway, it's it's very uh, it's very it brings people closer to say Haiying. So my students call me Haiying, and some students feel not so comfortable. Just call my name Haiying, and they will call Haiying Shi teacher Haiying, and uh, and uh, Haiying is a quite uh, bright or clear and crisp sound. So I think this is why they enjoy saying Haiying. If they call me another name. Both of us will feel strange. Hai Yin. Hai Yin Yi Hao, Wo Shi Tai Shen. So when we were young, there was one Chinese movie. And this Chinese movie is uh, about uh, 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 with one uh, Navy ship, Chinese Navy, Navy ship. And the Navy ship. His name is Hai Ying Yi Hao, uh, Seahawk, number one, number one, Seahawk, Seahawk, number one. So in the movie, there was one scene, there was one he hero, the main actor, and uh, calling his neighbor uh, ship, communicate with the neighboring ship or with the same fleet. Hai Ying Yi Hao, Wo Shi Tai Shan, Hai Ying Yi Hao, Wo Shi Tai Shan. So, I think uh, my my childhood was spent by people calling this. I'm pretty proud of it, actually. It's a, it's a, a good movie, a very, very handsome actor. And I was three, four, five years old. Yeah, very, very young. No, even younger than this. Hai Ying Yi Hao, Wo Shi Tai Shen. Qing Hui Da, Qing Hui Da. I am mountain Thai. Please answer me. So, this is the the uh, uh, high heel shoes, high heel shoes, high heel brush. I call it high heel brush. It's it's pretty, but it's so high and it's just not comfortable to to walk with high heel shoes. And it's the same here. It's not very easy, very comfortable to ride with it. But it's just elegant and beautiful. Do you agree? Xie xie. Maybe I cannot even finish the word. Xie xie. 